Okay, talking about prime factorization or in just factorizations even in general um, leads us then to the idea of reducing fractions and this is what we talked about uh, a couple of videos ago where whenever we deal with fractions we always always write them in lowest terms no matter what. So let's say that we have this number um, 10 over 12, 10 twelfths. This is not in lowest terms. It's not in lowest terms uh, because there is something that will um, divide into the numerator and the denominator that we could remove. So let's look at it as its prime factors. 2 times 5 would be 10 and both 2 and 5 are prime so they can't break down any further. If we do the prime factorization of 12, we would get 2 times 2 times 3. And if you need to go back and look at that as a little tree, you certainly can. You could say 12 is um, 2 times 6, 2 is prime, 6 would be 2 times 3, and now both of those are prime. So that's how we arrived at that number. Now, because of this, I could rewrite 10 as 2 times 5, and I could rewrite 12 as 2 times 2 times 3. Now, any time we have a number over itself, that's 1. Remember us talking about 6 over 6 actually was the entire rectangle, 6 pieces out of 6. Any time you have a number over itself, that is automatically 1. So, for instance, here we have the 2 on top and a 2 on bottom. We could actually cancel those. We could say 2 goes into itself once. 2 goes into itself once. So now we've removed that common factor and we have 1 times 5 would be 5 and 2 times 3 would be 6. This is how we reduce things down in lowest terms. Now let's practice with that. Here we have a number that's 12 over 20 and we want to write this in lowest terms. So first things first, we need to uh, go ahead and write out our, our prime factorizations. So 12 would be 2 times 6, 2 is prime, 6 would be 2 times 3, and now both of those are prime. So for our numerator, it would be 2 times 2 times 3. That's just another way of writing 12. Now for our denominator, our denominator is 20, so let's see, 2 times 10 would be 20, 2 is prime, 10 would be 2 times 5, and now both of those are prime. So I could rewrite this as 2 times 2 times 5. Now when any time we have a number over itself, remember that's the same thing as saying 1. So the 2 over 2, those will basically cancel, or another way you can do it is say 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 2 once. And um, we have another set of 2's here also that will cancel. So what we're left with here is 3 fifths. That is the exact same thing as 12 over 20, but it's written in lowest terms. Now as you know, I know that we're reviewing here, but probably what you actually do when you look at 12 over 20 is um, it's in your head you're trying to figure out what will go into 12 that will also go into 20. Now we're actually doing the same thing as we did here, we're just doing it in our head. I mean we could say 2 goes into 12 uh, 6 times and 2 goes into 20 10 times. And then we could say, oh, 6 and 10, those things have something in common. 2 goes into 6 3 times, and 2 goes into 10 5 times, so we're left with 3 fifths. Oops. Or you might even look at that, and you might be able to see the largest thing that goes into there. You might look at that and say, well, 4 goes into both of these. 4 goes into 12 3 times, and 4 goes into 20 5 times. We end up with the exact same thing. Because if you think about it, here we removed or canceled out 2 times 2 on top and 2 times 2 on bottom. That's a 4 over a 4. So there's lots of ways of looking at reducing.